prices seem to be rising on just about everything. One of the biggest jumps you'll see is at the used car lot, believe it or not. A big spike reported today, and we want to find out what's fueling this hike. Take a look. Compared to last year, in Detroit, on average, a used vehicle will cost you almost $4,500 more. That is a 20% jump, but it could be more depending on the vehicle you choose. A Chevy Camaro used will cost you almost 27% more, a Ram 1500 almost 29% more, and a Chevy Corvette nearly a 34% increase. Used car prices have been on the rise for the past few years, but the increase is much more dramatic this year. 7 Action News reporter Brian Abel now with an in-depth report on what's behind the price spike and when we could see a return to normal. Prices for used cars at an all-time high. This is unprecedented. We have never seen uh, retail prices at this level. How high? In Detroit, the average used car price is up more than 20%. That's $4,482 higher on average, according to iccars.com. What's driving the inflation? Used car prices have been going up for a couple of years, but all of a sudden this year, they have gone through the roof and it's easy to figure out why. There's just a shortage of really good used cars right now, and there is unprecedented demand, and that means prices goes up. Much of the catalyst for the lagging inventory, pandemic-related. Rental car companies usually sell their cars off to used dealerships after certain mileage thresholds. As people hunkered down and travel became sparse, they liquidated much of their fleets. Now with travel back up, they aren't selling and buying instead. The global chip shortage, another contributing factor. The car companies had to shut down for about eight weeks, you know, two months. And then they went flat out to try to catch up. They didn't catch up. And then the chip shortage hit. And so now there's 1.5 million fewer vehicles in inventory than what automakers would like to have. This is good news that used car prices are up if you're trying to sell a car, correct? Well, yeah, look, if you are in the market to sell your used car, you're gonna get the best price you ever could have dreamed of getting for it. But if that means you gotta turn around and buy a new car, guess what? That's where that money's going to go. The situation could be ideal for those families who now have someone that can work remotely and may be in position to share a car. The best advice, according to experts, if you can, hold on if you need to replace the car you're thinking of selling. The market isn't expected to return to something resembling normal until potentially 2022. If you do need to buy a car, you should still do your homework. The same two used cars may not be truly equal. Two or three years later, they don't have the same value because of their unique histories. Nothing impacts value more than history. We still recommend take it for that independent inspection, have a trained mechanic look the vehicle over, look at the vehicle's history on a Carfax report, and take it for a test drive. And I talked with a dealership today who said that they were approached by a broker to sell at a car auction. They were offered for a two-year-old F-150 with 25,000 miles. MSRP. For 7 Action News, I'm Brian Abel. A lot of money in the car business. Thank you, Brian. Now, if you're in the market for a used car, you can check out which models will cost you the most and why on our homepage, WXYZ.com. Make sure you check it out.